Now, because our house was built in 1956, <clears throat> some of these uh, floor joists um, have some cracking in them. And most of them originate from a knot and then uh, go all the way down to the bottom. So, in an effort to stop those from getting worse <clears throat> and do some repair and also bolster the floor above, um, we are sistering on new 2x10s. We got these uh, grade 1 or better 2x10s, 14-foot uh, length from Menards. They were only about 18 bucks a piece. <clears throat> And we, let's see, after you find out which end is the crown, or which side is the crown, we cut approximately a uh, 3 inch by 10 inch wedge off of the corner of one side, because that's the only way, that's the only way to get the length, uh, in order to get it up into the joist, or above the beam, wedged in between the subfloor and the beam, and get it the uh, approximately five inches over this beam, and then to also get it up over that beam. Otherwise, the dimensions of it would not allow you to set it up in there. Then once we get it up there. We jack up the old, the old beam, I'm sorry, the old joist, up to make it level, as level as possible with the jack. And this fits in there so snugly, you actually have to hammer it, hammer it into place from one end. Fortunately, we have an opening over there next to the stairs. So we're able to get it in there and, you know, certain parts of the floor sag a little bit more than others, so that can make it easier or harder to get it properly into place. Then, after hitting it in a few spots to try and get it flush, um, we clamp it down and then we start screwing it in. And we're using, we're using a whole bunch of uh, construction screws because they have uh, significantly better shear strength than normal screws. Um, Perhaps not as good as a 16 penny nail, but spaced appropriately along the along the board, it uh, it offers more than enough support to hold it in place. Also, I don't want to buy a nail gun, so there are a couple different reasons. But we're going to do this across uh, multiple joists down here in the basement, and already with just these two in place, it's making a tremendous difference in the uh, the bounce or the uh, deflection in the floor above. It really is great.